Hi, hi. <clears throat> How are you today? Hi. Hi, teacher. Hi, hi. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Nice to see you. Vamos a ver, I'm going to get the list and call you. Hi, teacher. Hi, Good evening. Hi. How are you? I uh, I am fine, teacher. Excellent. So did you tell me present as I call you? Here we go. Ready, ready. Yes. Eh, Bella Lisbeth. Bella, Bella. Carlos Roberto. Carlos Roberto. Carlos Roberto, no. Darling Jasmine. Uh -huh. Present teacher. Denis Adonai. Denis, Denis. No, here, Denis. Edgar Eduardo. Present teacher. Gabriel Stephanie. Present. Herman Agustín. Present teacher. Mm -hmm. Jessica Raquel. Jessica Raquel. Carla María. Present. Kelly Marcela. Kelly. Kelly Marcela, no está. Marcelo Vladimir. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Mauricio Giovanni. Mauricio Giovanni. Miguel Efraín. Present teacher. Ok. José Elías. Present teacher. Norma Maritza. Norma Maritza. Está Norma Marins. Pedro Antonio. Present teacher. Ronald Josué. Sabrina Lisset. Present. Tamara Lisset.
Tamara, Waldemar, Walter, mm -hmm. ok, bueno, nice to see you, nice to see you everybody. Hoy faltan varios. It's not Friday. <laughs> have you have you noticed that usually the day the, tra that the, the traffic the tra yeah. teacher the traffic teacher the traffic, the traffic teacher. is terrible sí. today. Oh, before Friday, yes. my goodness! Yes. Imagine horrible today oh. every day. Yes, uh, y, y, y está peor, teacher. O sea, realmente está. O sea, se colapsan las calles realmente. O sea, no sé si regalan dulce o algo por el estilo, pero la cosa es que se colapsa todo. O sea, sí, de Arguirín Churritos. Sí. sí. Wow. Ok, well, nice to see you. Esperemos que se nos vayan uniendo los demás, ¿verdad? Poco a poco. Well, today we are talking about the past. Right, this unit is about the past. And today we are going to talk about the past, but questions, double H, double H questions. Remember, we started with affirmative sentences, the negative sentences. Uh, yesterday we were talking about just no questions. And today we are going to talk about information questions, okay? And here I am, I'm not sure. So you see, this is the topic, simple past information questions. And the objective participants will be able to write, ask and answer some information questions using the simple past correctly. So you're going to be able to write the questions, ask the questions to your partners, answer the questions they make to you, in past, right? Talking about the past. Now, I have some examples of the questions that we were talking about yesterday. Remember, uh, yesterday we were talking about just no questions. Did you have dinner before class? Did you have dinner before class? Yes, no. Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, repeat after me. Did you have dinner before class? Oops. Did you have dinner? Did you have dinner before class? Did you have did you have dinner before class? Did you have dinner before class? Before class. Did you have dinner before class? Next question. Esa es la tarea, ya la hice. Yes, uh, did you answer the email? Did you answer the email? Did you answer the emails? No, I stand there. You answer the emails? Did you answer the email? Did you send any WhatsApp messages? Did you send any WhatsApp messages? Did you work today? Did you Did work you today? Work today. Did you eat chicken for lunch? Did you eat, Did you eat chicken, chicken for, lunch? for lunch? Did you drink enough water? Did you Did drink, you drink enough, water? enough water? Were you busy today? Were, Were you, busy you busy today? today? Yeah. Were you in class yesterday? Were you in class, Were you class? In class yesterday? yesterday? Did you understand the topic? Did you, Did understand, you the understand the topic? Okay, one more time. Did you have dinner before class? Did you have, you dinner, have dinner, before dinner before class? 
Did you drink coffee today? Did, Did you drink coffee today? coffee today? Did you answer the email? Did you answer, Did you the, answer, email? answer the, email? the email? Did you send any WhatsApp messages? Did you Did send, you any, send WhatsApp any WhatsApp messages? 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 Did you work today? Did you work today? Did you eat chicken for lunch? Did you eat Did chicken, you for, chicken lunch? for lunch? Did you drink enough water? Did, Did you, you drink, drink enough, enough water? water? Were you busy today? Were you busy today? Were you in class yesterday? Were you Were class in your class yesterday? Did you understand the topic? Do you understand the topic? Okay, check. If I say, did you have dinner before class? The answer did. will be? Yes. Yes. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, no, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. Yes, I did. Or no, I didn't. No, I didn't. But if the question is with the verb to be, the answer is with the verb to be. Were you busy today? Yes, I was. Oh, no, Andres. I was. Yes, I was, or no, I wasn't. I'm making one with that joke. I know. I'm saying no, no, I was. I'm mixing. Yes, I was, right? Yes, I was, so no, I wasn't. So, remember, question with the verb to be. Okay. Answer with the verb to be. Question with did, you answer with did. Okay? But I'm going to give you about four minutes for you to go talk with your partners. Well, ask the questions to your partners. And then... You share the answer that they give you. Ask an answer, okay? Ask an answer the questions. I'm going to stop sharing and I'm going to paste it there. Oh, I'm going to open what's it? Share the Remember, remember you take turns Asking the questions to your hands. Oh, remember, question with did, answer with did. Question with the verb to be, answer with the verb to be. Okay, there you go. I'm pasting the questions in the chat. Ready? I'm going to make groups try to join. It doesn't matter if you're driving, but at least you're listening, right? If you're driving, you are you can join the groups and at least listen to your panels. Beautiful. Go. No questions. No. No questions, teacher. <laughs> okay, let's join them. Tamara Vela. Tamara, le hace falta medio nombre. Viene manejando. Si viene manejando, se lo pongo. Yo. Oh. Okay, join, join, that on the line. I am very tired. Nice. Okay. Que viene, discúlpame, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Porque no, yo acabo de entrar, no sé qué vamos a hacer, perdón. Okay. En, en el chat, Tamara. Les puse las preguntas que se van a hacer ahorita. Esas son yes, no question. Ah, ok. Ok, El ahorita veo. Review de ayer. Ok. 
Ah, ok. Vamos, eh, vamos a ver, estamos Pedro y yo. Vamos sí. una, una cada una, Pedro. Sí. Ok. Um, did you have dinner before class? Yes, I did. Did you have drink coffee today? Yes, I did. Yeah. Um, did you answer the email? Yes, I did. Did you? I perdón. Do you have sent any WhatsApp message? Um, yes, I did. Did you work today? No, I didn't. Eh, qué chévere. Eh, did... Dios. Perdón. <laughs> did you eat chicken for lunch? Mm, no, I didn't. No chicken. Did you... No chicken. I... I eat fish. You ate fish. Very good. Did you drink? ¿Cómo se pronuncia, teacher? En no. En no. En no. En no. Did you drink en no water? No, I didn't. Where are you busy today? Were you busy? Were you busy today? Um, no, I didn't. Eh, Tamara, eh, lo, que nos la, lo que nos explicó la teacher era que si la pregunta era con eh, la auxiliar y vas a contestar con la auxiliar, y si es con el verbo to be y vas a contestar con el verbo to be. En ese ah, caso, okay. I was. Sería I, I was. I wasn't. Ah, okay. I was. Were you in class yesterday? Yes, I was. Did you understand the topics? Um, I didn't. Okay, okay. perfect. Which topic? The one of the questions? No. The topic. Oh, the teacher. Yes. Yes. Okay. Quiero ver. Hola, teacher. Teacher. Hi. Hi. ¿Qué tal, teacher? Okay. Teacher, you? the topic. The topic. El tema que estamos viendo ahorita de, de, del pasado. Ah, okay. Okay, perfect. The topic. Do you understand the topic? Entonces, en mi caso, es la primera vez, ¿vale? Mm. Did you understand the topic? Yes. Yes, I was. Oh, no, I was. No, 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 I was porque... Did you understand the topic? Yes, I did. But yes, I did. Uh -huh. Ah, sí, sí. Ajá. Ajá, exactamente. Es que pensamos el, el was y el where cuando es el verbo, bueno, to be, ¿verdad? To be, yes. To be. No. El, o sea, el where, el where you was today, es donde se pone. Busy, busy. Busy, 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 busy. Are you busy today? En... En este caso sería yes I was, sí, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. yes. yes I was. Were you yes, I... yes I was. Sí. The y yo no sé, yo no sabía sí. por qué. O sea, no, yo, yo sé, lo que pasa es que, y esta es la palabra que yo anteriormente tuve como, eh, eh, como un choque ¿va? De, 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 de cosas, porque Basi debería sonar, pero en realidad la pronunciación es bici. Bici. Ajá. Uh -huh. O sea, y porque se sale o, de la regla. O, hay, o lo podemos como busi. 
Uh, sí, la estaba como uh, queriendo leer. Ajá, y es Lisi. Y al final me explicaron que es un, o sea, realmente así está ya estipulado. Correcto. Ajá, sí. así es lo correcto de la pronunciación, por supuesto. Ajá, Lisi Today. Y este, de ahí, teacher, todo, o sea, realmente, que la segunda, que para mí es como, como no, como no dejar de respirar, que do you drink coffee today? Oh. Entonces, sí, o sea, por lo menos uno tengo que tomarlo en el día. Ya, y ya si en la tarde ya, ya es un extra, pero por lo menos en Dice, la mañana this, sí. This is my, it's most important the, the, the did you drink enough water? Oh. <laughs> sí, sí, yes, o sea, es, yeah, es important. <risa> sí, sí. Y, y el que todos manejamos es este, de ese no hay duda. Did you send sí. any WhatsApp message? Any was, yes. Ah, yes. Sí, yes. Yes. Eh, And the next question nosotros. will be how many messages did you send? Sí, Ay, how many messages did you every day? Teacher, question. Tell me. Me dijo a okay. Question. Eh, digamos, eh, estamos. Okay. Ah, Question, sí, yo también me quedé esperando la pregunta. Ajá, ¿verdad? Sí, 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 sí. Bueno, ya más bien perdí la, la perdí la, la pregunta que tengo. Te... Ah, bueno, ya. Eh, en estas únicamente, bueno, se puede responder de forma corta. ¿O sí. se le puede agregar algún complemento también? Las dos cosas. Puede dar respuesta no corta o puede extenderse. Ok. Sí. ¿Mm? Por ejemplo, sí, sí, así topic. como dijo Thank Marcelo, eh, yes, I did, I, I drank two cups it's of my, coffee. It's my, it's my life. It's my life. It's like, it's like breathing. It's very important to coffee today. It's very important that water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it and the, the thing is that when you get used to drink coffee, if you don't drink coffee in the morning, you get a headache. Yes, yes. Eh, yo, es, en, en, en las mañanas, teacher, how do you say en las mañanas? In, in the morning? In the morning. So it's very important. Eh, el coffee, si no, yo no me despierto. Tengo que llegar y tomo café o no tomo café, o sea, pero tengo que tomarlo si no, si quiero trabajar al 100%. Yeah. No sé por qué. No sé por qué. <laughs> It may happen yeah. to me. Sometimes after, uh, after taking a nap, if I have time okay. to take a nap, I have to take time to drink a cup of coffee after the nap. Okay. To wake up. <laughs> yeah, to wake up. Uh, uh, addict. Um, me echo adicto. Yes. Oh. Uh -huh. sí. yeah. Ya llegué a, a la edad de que necesito el café. Antes no decía nada, por puros viejitos decía, hoy ya llegué a la edad de viejito. No, the thing is that when you work in an office, a coffee is no, okay. Yeah. Coffee yeah. 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 Definitely. If no, yeah. when you're moving, coffee is not that necessary. But when you're sitting long time, you need to. Long time. Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. And you, uh, Maria, the, do you drink coffee? Yes. The, yes. This. Okay. This <laughs> woman. <laughs> That's bigger than mine. You see? <laughs> That's bigger. Nice. Dicho, la, la tercera también, nosotros lo hemos visto como el Did you answer the email? O sea, es, bueno, es como la excepción de, de, de email, sí, a, a, a excepción de Carla, que hoy no fue a, a, a trabajar, pero en mi, en mi caso sí es bastante importante también. Ajá, el día a día es el día a día esta mañana. You answer a phone, you answer an email every day. Every day, yes. Okay. And, and did you send any bueno, ya lo habíamos hablado. También, did you work today? Yes, I, 
I did. Um, a ah, excepción de Carla también. Sí, a excepción de Carla, que no fue. Ok. Nice, nice. Did you eat chicken for lunch? Uh, no, I didn't. En mi caso. What about you, Herman? Did you eat chicken for lunch? No. Uh, you didn't. I didn't. Okay. Teacher, tengo otra pregunta ahí en, en lo del send and email. Ajá. Uh -huh. um, me pareció que usted dijo, sí, no sé si estoy equivocado o qué, pero digamos, eh, si lo dejamos en, 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 sin, en singular, digamos, en singular eh, sería, digamos, send and mail. Se le pone la N. Solo es un email, sí, es uno, pero como eso sí lo puede contar. Mm -hmm. Ajá. Sí. Lo, pueden ser un montón, puede ser uno, pero si sí lo puede contar, entonces por eso decimos anime. Ah, bueno, ok, está bien. Porque si se pueden contar, yo can say, you know what, I got 50 o sea, emails. Today. Igual, ah. igual como decir, eh, eh, I drink, eh, I eat an apple. I eat an apple. Yes, and you put and because you can count the email. So it is only one email. Uh -huh. okay. So if I ask you, did you send an email? You can tell me, no, I didn't send an email. I sent two emails. Okay. Right? And that's why in the WhatsApp messages, it says any. Did you send any WhatsApp messages? Not just one, right? Uh -huh. Did you send uh -huh. any WhatsApp messages? And then you say, yes, I sent Ooh, a uh -huh. lot of WhatsApp messages today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. En, la, en esta que es eh, how do you say eh, uh, en note, a note. O en note. A note. A note. A note. cuando ve a la letra gh el sonido es f a note. A note. F. f como f en no mm -hmm. okay no last okay I find the difficult to drink water today to or, or to have you. Uh -huh. sí, uh, estoy bajo aire acondicionado, teacher. So, you don't drink enough water. Uh -huh. yes, uh, yeah, when it is cold, yes. we tend to forget that we have to drink water, right? Yes. Uh -huh. Eh, sí, tengo ese problema. El problema para mí es no drink water, exacto. Exacto. Get your bottle near you. Sí. So you remember you have to drink water. Vale, pues lo dejo un ratito. Ok. Ay, sí. Ya. Did you, did you send any was messenger? Any WhatsApp message? Yes, I did. Did you work today? Yes, I did. And darling, did you eat chicken for lunch? No, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No cheating. No, I didn't. Okay. Ahora usted pregunta, darling. Okay, voy, voy. Did you drink egg no water? Yes, I did. Edgardo, were you busy today? Uh, yes, I was. Uh, darling, where were yeah. you in class yesterday? Ah, uh, está como uh, más fácil de, de viajar por la mañana, pero el, re, el regreso de ese día es dificilísimo. Okay. 
Hi, teacher. Hi, hi. Hi. Did you finish? Was... Yes. Yes. It okay. was only with with voices. Okay. Yes, yeah, Sabrina is oyente today, she says. Sabrina oyente. And Valdemar. Okay. So... Uh, How are you driving? Okay. Yes. Sorry. Okay. okay. Did you did you okay. do you have any questions? Yes. Um, uh, for example, uh, Miguel, did you drink coffee today? Uh, yes, I did. I, How yes, many? I did drink coffee. <laughs> How many? A lot, a cup. Okay, a lot of cups of coffee. Very good. good. What about you, Moises? Did you drink coffee today? Yes, um, I, I, very much. Uh, coffee today. You drank a lot of coffee today. Okay. Yes. Nice, nice. Bueno, yes. let's go. Let's go. Ready. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Fifty seconds for everybody to be back. Carla María me queda algo perdido. Muy bien. Nobody. Nobody lost. Waldemar is lost. Okay, pues estamos completos. Well, uh, remember we were talking about just no question, right? Yes, no questions, as I said at the beginning, are questions that we answer yes or no. And if you want, you can give some extra information, right? So did you have dinner before class? You can say, yes, I did. Or no, I didn't. Or, yes, I did. I ate. And you can tell me what you ate or you can tell me what time you ate. Or you can tell me how delicious your dinner was, and so on. Okay? Now, this was a review, right? This was a review of yesterday's class. Later on, we will retake these questions to expand them a little bit more. Okay. I guess this was your homework, correct? So there's. Huh? The first teacher. Yeah. Uh, did you did you send the email? Did you send emails? Okay. Did you? Send... Yes, I did. I sent the email. Okay. How how many emails did you send? Mm -hmm. How many emails did you send? Oh, you montón. Ten. Montón. No, uh, a little, uh, a few. A few emails, no many. A few. Okay. Only three. Ah, ah only three. That's okay. But, uh, now let's see the next. Next question. Number two. Didn't they check the package? Mm -hmm. Did they check the package? No, they didn't. They didn't check the package. Very good. Number three. Did the car turn on again? Yes, it did. Mm -hmm. The car turn on again. Exactly. Did the car turn on again? Yes, it did. The cartoon on again. Number four. Mm 
No, we didn't. We never received did. Coffee. Number four uh, is. Uh, did we? Uh huh. Did we, did we did we receive a co a copy of the receipt? Uh -huh. Receive. Oh, did you, Berta? Did you plural? Did receive a copy of the receipt. Yeah, did you receive a copy of the receipt? No, we didn't. We never received a copy of the receipt. Teacher, okay. mm -hmm. receive um receive the, the receive. same. Receive. Receive. <laughs> Yeah, receive. What is receipt? Received. A receipt. Mm -hmm. Es el Re recibo. Uno mm -hmm. es recibir y el otro es recibir. Este es recibir, uh, el verbo, ¿verdad? Okay, receive a copy of the receipt. This is the receipt. Y piense que a veces tiene a, a, a confundir el re receipt con, con recipe. Y nada que ver. ¿Verdad? Recipe es receta, receipt es recibo y receive es el verbo recibir. Uh -huh. Receive, receipt, received, receipt, receipt. That's recipe. Ajá. Uh -huh. What about the last one? Did he bought a new tire? Did he buy a new tire? Exactly. Did he buy a new tire? Did he buy a new tire? Yes, he did. He bought a new tire. Nice. Any questions? Any questions? No, teacher. Okay. Okay. Now, check. Today we're talking about information questions. Information questions son estos que ustedes ven que empiezan con double H words like what, where, when, how. Se llaman double H questions o information questions. ¿Verdad? Estas son las double H words. La double H words son when, what, where, why, how, who. Y double H questions es lo mismo que decir information questions. Porque son preguntas que lo que buscan es información. Jamás va a responder una pregunta de estas con yes. ¿Verdad? Las yes no questions son aquellas donde usted pregunta, did you have dinner? Did you have dinner before class? And then, then you say, yes, I did. Did you buy lunch? Yes, I did. O no, I didn't. Pero en las information questions, usted no responde, yes, I did. Usted responde dando la información que se le pide. Uh, what did you buy? I bought a vacation package. I bought a new pair of shoes. I bought chicken for lunch. Where did you fly to? He flew to another country. He flew to another country. Where did he fly to? He flew to another country. When did we pay for the service? We paid for the service last month. We paid for the service last year. We paid for the service two weeks ago. We paid for the service five years ago. Yeah? Now, how did they find out how did they find out uh, of that promotion? How did they find out about that promotion? They found out about it on the internet. They found out about it on the internet. How did they found out? Ah, the neighbor told them. Hmm? 
Entonces, ¿cómo, cómo se dieron cuenta? ¿Ah? Porque el vecino le dijo, right Porque lo leyó en internet, porque le salió un TikTok. ¿De acuerdo? Any questions there? Vamos a ver en detalle eh, para qué sirve cada palabra. So we have what, why, when, where, who, which, and how. Right? What? What did you eat for lunch? What did you eat for breakfast? What did you do after class yesterday? Why? Why? Why did you come late? Why did you go to bed early? Why didn't you come to class? When? When significa cuando, ¿verdad? That is, when did you get up? I got up in the morning. When did you... When did you call your ma your mother? I called my mother yesterday. Where? Where did you go after class? I went to bed. Where did you where did you study high school? And then you can tell me the name of the school where you studied high school. Who? Who did you talk to? I talked to which which color did you prefer, pink or orange? I preferred pink. How? How, how did you travel? I traveled by bus. I traveled by car. I traveled by Uber. Yes, that's how. Now, check. We use can, what? When we want to ask for information, I want to ask for information. What type of information? Hmm? What type of information do I want to know? What time is? What time is it? B. What time is it? What did you do? What did you do in the afternoon? What did she say? What did you study? What did you do? What did you? Repeat, Marcelo. What did you from? What did you? From. Ah, ese sería where. Where are you from? Where? What no sería ah, okay, sí, tiene razón. Where, did, where, where, you where were you from? Sí, sí, de dónde es. Sí. Now you can also use what to ask for someone to repeat what they said. For example, sorry, I can't hear you. What did you say? Right? What did you say? Now we have another situation, another word that we are going to use. So, if you say, where, yeah, where, you can use where to ask for the position of something for someone. Where did they go? Position. Or place you can ask for place. Where did you live as a child? Where did you study high school? Where did you go to the university? Where did some live? So place. If I'm talking about place, I use where. When is to talk about time. You can use it to talk, to ask about time. For example, when did the meeting start? When did the plane arrive? 
when did you come? So I'm talking about time. Why is used to talk about reasons? So you want to ask for reason, you use why. Why did they not call back? Por qué no llamar, right? So you can say, why did they not call? Or why didn't they call? If you want to use the, the abbreviation, why didn't they call? Why did he not study for the test? Why didn't he study? Este tipo de preguntas es más fácil usarlo con la contraction, ¿verdad? Why didn't you come? Why didn't you go to the party? Why? Why? Or you can ask an affirmative uh, sentence to an affirmative question, and you can say, mm, why did you worry? Yeah. Why did you study English? Also, we have a who. You can use it when you're talking about people. Yeah. You want to talk about people. So you can use who to ask for which person or persons did an action. Then you say, who did that? Who did you call? Who did you call? Who did you go with? Who did you go to the party with? Who did you go to the party with? Who did you talk to before class? How? You can use how to talk about manner. Como se hizo algo, right? Manner. For example, how did this work? How did they do that? When you're talking about traveling, you use how. How did you go to work? See? How did you go? How did you leave? How did you go to school? You can also use how to talk about quality or to ask about quality or condition. For example, how did you do on the test? Hey, ¿cómo te fue? Right? That's what we say. ¿Cómo te fue? How did you do on the test? How did it go? How did it go? Oh, it went nice. Everything fine, you can say. And which with the verb to be, we can also use what was in the box. What was in the box? Where were they? When did they get back? Who was at the door? How was class? Or how was the class, right? So you see, Si usamos otros verbos, vamos siempre a ocupar el auxiliary did. ¿Verdad? Después de la double H word, usamos el auxiliary did. And then the other verb in the base form. But if you want to use the verb to be, what was in the box? Where were they? When did they get back? Who was at the door? I was class. So you can ask using the verb to be also and the double H words. I don't know if you have any other question here. No question. No question, teacher. Okay, perfect. Now check. Check the examples. When we say or uh, when we use who. We have two types of questions. Se han fijado que algunas veces eh, lleva auxiliar y otras veces no. ¿Sí? Por ejemplo, si usted dice, who did you call? I called Maria. ¿Verdad? I called Maria. Who did you go to the party with? I went to the party with Nicole. Who did Carolina invite to the party? She invited David to the party. Who did Isabel exercise with today? She exercised with her sister. 
yo en ese caso necesito el auxiliar para hacer la pregunta, como todas las demás preguntas con todos los demás eh, double H words. Who did that? Pedro did it. Check it. Aquí yo estoy, este es un tipo de pregunta que le llamamos object question. En este tipo de pregunta yo necesito el auxiliar. ¿Verdad? Aquí yo necesito el auxiliar, igual que en todas las demás preguntas como hemos estado estudiando, que siempre tiene que llevar el auxiliar. Who did you call? I called Maria. Pero si usted dice, who called you? Maria called me. Pues cheque la, la diferencia, ¿verdad? Who did you call? Usted llamó a alguien. ¿A quién llamó? A María. Who called you? Ahí es quien lo llamó a usted. María called me. ¿Verdad? Entonces el significado es, es cambia. Acá tengo estas que se llaman subject questions. Así se llaman ellas, subject questions. Este tipo de pregunta se puede hacer solamente con who y con what. Con los demás no. ¿Verdad? Con los demás, este tipo de preguntas sin auxiliar no se puede hacer. Y cheque. Who did that? Pedro did it. Este did no es el auxiliar did. Este es el verbo do en pasado. Who did it? Pedro did it. Who ate the cake? Luis ate the cake. Miren. Who bought the soda? Ana bought the soda. Who exercised with Isabel? His sister exercised with him. Who did Isabel exercise with? He exercised with his sister. ¿Con quién ejercitó Isabel? Con su hermana. ¿Quién ejercitó con Isabel? Su hermana. ¿Sí? Eh, ven el tipo de pregunta, como cuando usted dice, ¿qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? No lleva, no lleva auxiliar. Es what happened, right? What happened? ¿Qué pasó? El qué pasó va sin auxiliar. ¿Sí? No puede decir usted what did happen. Mm -mm. Ese tipo de pregunta no lleva eh, auxiliar. Okay. Vaya, now look. No sé si tienen alguna pregunta hasta aquí. Yo me perdí ahí en la parte de, 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 del auxiliar, o sea, es decir, eh, es como WhatsApp, digamos, eh, puedo, eh, no se le va a agregar o en qué momento se le agrega el, el, el auxiliar. Ahí sí yo... Estoy todavía uh, queriendo Ay, aterrizar. Vea la respuesta en azul. ¿Dónde queda? Eh, quiero ver. En la primera sería al final. al final María, en este caso. Ajá. Entonces, uh -huh. ¿a quién llamaste? Llamé a María. María. ¿Quién te llamó? María. María. ¿Sí? María me llamó. Eso es lo que nosotros llamamos subject question. Mira, si yo digo, uh, ¿dónde está el mouse? Okay. Uh, se me pierde. Who, who called you? Una cosa es, ¿a quién llamó? Y otra es, ¿quién te llamó? ¿Mira? ¿Quién te llamó? No, ¿verdad? ¿Quién te llamó? Este? ¿A quién llamaste? ¿A quién llamaste? Llamé a María. Sí. María es el objeto. Los objetos sí. siempre van después del verbo. Who called you? ¿Quién te llamó? María Jordi. 
el sujeto va antes del verbo. Pero lo que usted tiene que ver es cómo va a ser, cómo es la pregunta. En la pregunta, la respuesta que usted busca es sujeto en la oración que va antes del verbo o es objeto en la oración que va después del verbo. ¿Miren? El sujeto va antes y el objeto va después. Este es el objeto. ¿Con quién fuiste a la, a la fiesta? Yo fui a la fiesta con Nicole. ¿Sí? ¿Con quién fue? Con Nicole. Entonces, Nicole es un objeto porque está después del verbo. Hay muchas más cosas en medio, pero Nicole va después del objeto, después del verbo, perdón. Entonces, Nicole es un objeto. Esa pregunta necesita auxiliar. ¿Sí? ¿A quién invitó Carolina a la fiesta? Ella invitó a David. Pero si yo digo, who invited Carolina to the party? David invited Carolina. ¿A quién invitó Carolina? Cuando usted en la traducción de la pregunta llega, ¿a quién? ¿Con quién? Esta es un, una pregunta que necesita auxiliar. Who invited Carolina to the party? David invited Carolina to the party. ¿Quién invitó a Carolina? David la invitó. ¿A quién invitó Carolina? A David. ¿You see the difference? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Vaya, vámonos, pues. Let's go check. I have some other examples here. Who did you call? I called Maria. Who called you? Ana called me. Ana me llamó a mí, yo le llamé a Maria. Right? Who did you call? ¿A quién llamaste? A Maria. ¿Y quién te llamó? Ana. You see? Who did you go to the party with? I went to the party with Nicole. Who went to the party with Nicole? I. Who did Carolina invite to the party? She invited David to the party. Who invited David to the party? Carolina. See? Sí. Ahí va a depender. Eh, ¿Cuál es la pregunta? ¿Cuál es el tipo de pregunta? ¿Con quién hizo algo? Lleva auxiliar. ¿Quién hizo algo? Muy bien. ¿Ok? Vamos, pues. Now we have another word that is how. We said that we use how to ask about manner. How did you do this work? How did they, he, how did they do that? ¿Cómo hicieron eso? How did they do that? Aquí necesitamos auxiliar. En todas las preguntas necesitamos auxiliar. La única que puede o no tener auxiliar, dependiendo del tipo de pregunta, es who. Y en unos casos muy extraños, what. You can also use how to ask about quality or condition. For example, how did you do on the test or how did it go? ¿Cómo, cómo te el examen? How did you do in the test? Hey, ¿cómo te how did it go? ¿Verdad? La próxima vez que le quiera preguntar a alguien cómo te fue, le puede preguntar en how did it go? ¿Eh? How was it? How did you do on the test? Okay. Aquí le tengo más preguntas. Many, many more things that you can see. What, why, when, where, who, which, how, y hasta how nos habíamos quedado, ¿verdad? 
Ahora, hay muchas preguntas que usted puede preguntar. Preguntas que puede preguntar. Bueno, in English you can say that. Questions that you can ask. Using uh, questions with how, for example, how much, how many, how long, how often, what kind, what time. Yeah. How far, how big, how short, how long, how busy. You can use it with adjectives, how far. How difficult was the exam? ¿Sí? Puedo usar el how con adjectives. How easy was the exam? Hey, how difficult was it? Yeah? So you can use how with other adjectives to ask about other things. But I have some questions that you will ask. What did you find? Why did you go there? When did you return? Where did you buy that? Who went with you? Which book did you read? How did it happen? How much did you pay for your shoes? How many tacos did you eat? How long did you wait? How often did you see her? What kind of food did they serve at the party? What time did you get up today? Okay, repeat after me. What did you find? What did you find? What, Why did what you did go you there? What did you go there? Why did you go there? What did you go there? When did you return? When did, when did you, you return? return? When did you return? Where did you buy that? When did you buy that? that? Which book? Oh, who went with you? Who, who went, went with, with you? With you? Which book did you read? Which, Which book, did book did you read? You read? Mm -hmm. How did it happen? How, How did it happen? happen? How much did you pay for the shoes? How much, How much did, did you pay, pay for the shoes? How many tacos did you eat? How long did you wait? How, How long, long did, did you wait? wait? How often did you see her? How, How often, often did you, did see, you her? see her? What kind of food did okay. they serve at the party? What kind of food did you they serve at the party? What time did you get up today? But what what time, time did you get up, you get up today? Get up today. Okay, any questions? Question. No. Hmm? no question. Okay, but now let's move a little bit. I have some questions for you. So you do some practice here. Uh, what you will do, what you will do, is choose the correct option, right? A ver, number, number one, what, where, why, how, when, or who? What, what, what teacher? Who? Who? Uh, because it's it express the time. Mm -hmm. Is who? Is who? 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 What about number two? When? When? Talking when. about time, we use when. When did it, when did it, when did the plane land? It landed at 40. Mm -hmm. Number four, number three? Oh, 
Uy. Uh -huh. What about number three? Where? Where did she get? Mm, she took the bus. How? How? Okay. ¿Y cómo llegó? Ya vi. The four. No. Is okay. the. ¿Mm? Is two. Eh, sí, esta no quiso, no quiso reemplazar. También. La misma. No quiso. Y se reveló y dijo, pues no. <laughs> Vaya, eh, I have some questions for you. I'm going to send you to the rooms now. You will go and ask this question, ¿verdad? Match the questions to the answers. Mire, what did you do yesterday? Okay, repeat after me before I send you to the rooms. Eh, what did you do yesterday? What did, what, you did you do do what did you do yesterday? Where did you go last night? 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 Why did you go to the store? Why did you go to the store? When did you finish reading the book? When did you finish reading the book? Where did you learn that? Where did you learn that? Who did you meet? Who did you meet? Who did you meet? Who do you meet? What time did you get up today? What time did you get up today? Who helped you with this homework? Who helped you with this homework? What time did you finish work? What time did you finish work? When did you come back? When did you, when come, did back? you come back? What did you have for breakfast? What did you have for breakfast? How did you do that? How did you How did you do that? 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 Where did you study English? Where did, Where did you, you study English? English? When did she start the project? When, when did she when start did the, project? the project? I went to buy medicine. I went, I went, went to buy medicine. medicine. I had to work yesterday. I, I had, had to work, work yesterday. yesterday. I learned it in the street. I learned, I learned it, in the, it street. in the street. I went to the shopping mall last night. I, I went, went to the shopping mall last, last night. night. I finished it last Friday. I finished, I finished it last, last Friday. Friday. My mom helped me. My mom, I, my mom, mom helped me. me. I finished work at 6 p.m. I finished it work at, at 6, 6 p.m. PM. I, met I met George and Bessie. I met George and Bessie. 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 I got up at 5 a.m. I got up at 5 a.m. I had eggs and bacon for breakfast. I, I had eggs and bacon, 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 bacon for breakfast. I studied English at the university. I studied, I studied English at, at, the university. at the university. I came back last month. I came, I came back, back last month. Last month. She started the project last week. She started, she started the project, the project last, last week. week. I trained very hard. I am very hard. Okay, so now what you're going to do in your groups is match the question with the answer. I'm going to send you. I'm going to send you the the question there in the in the chat, and you take turns asking your parents. Los voy a hacer de nuevo. Yo creo. Sí. 
Any questions? No question. No question. I say no question. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's go, let's go. Join, join. Thank you, Julie. Trabajo. En CBC de Pepsi, pero bueno, es parte del proceso. Ready, Germán. <laughs> ok. What is the conversation? Ok. Match the questions and the answers. Ahí se las puse en el chat. En el chat. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I said we do what did you do yesterday? You Herman, what did you do yesterday? <laughs> okay, um Hay que buscarla ahí, la respuesta, o, o la vamos, o van en orden ahí. Claro, tiene que ser como una respuesta larga. No es de sí o de no, sino que cuando empiezan con la doble H, tiene que ser una respuesta larga. O por lo menos no decir yes, I, eso no, nunca dijo la ticha. Entonces, de práctica, porque son, wow, son varios, son. Por eso, la, mi, mi pregunta, mi pregunta, eh, entonces es, eh, ¿hay alguna relación entre la del lado izquierdo con el derecho? Yes, uh, the, 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 the answer is, uh, 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 I went to buy medicine. Yo, ok. Yo, yo, con, yo fui a comprar medicina. Entonces, pero, eh, lo vamos haciendo, no sé si. Lo vamos, lo vamos checando, check, como checklist y, y vamos. Ok. Bueno, digamos, what did you do yesterday? Mm. La uno. Yo lo quiero estar seguro que sean las. Ajá, sí, son como las respuestas. Están regulares. What did you do? Okay, sister, so I, yeah. I, am, I went to travel in, in Sultan City yesterday. Okay, bueno, por ejemplo, eh, pienso yo, what did you do yesterday? Um, podría ser, bueno, I went to the shopping mall shopping mall last night pienso yo pues you you no sé you, si went, estoy you went to shopping <laughs> last night si sí, I went to the shopping uh, mall last night la uno pienso yo eh, no sé teacher corríamos ahí pienso que uh, what did you do yesterday? Uh, I went to the shopping mall last night. Mm -hmm. ¿Y la segunda? Number where one. Go, where uh, did, y cheque la segunda. Where did you go last night? Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. 
Uh-huh. Where did you go? Where did you go last night? I went to the shopping mall last night. Okay. Uh -huh. Where did you go last night? I went to the shopping. <laughs> I went to the shopping. You went to the shopping, huh? Right? Yeah. Okay. No, number three is where did you go to the store? Okay. Where did you go? Where did you go to the store? All right. I went to buy medicine. Oh, I went to buy medicine. Did you go to the store? ¿Por qué fuiste a la tienda? Yo compré medicinas. Okay. When did you finish reading the book? Uh, wait a minute, please. Entonces, um, la tres. La, no, es the letter E. The letter e. Ah. I oh. finished it last Friday. Uh, yes. When did you finish reading the book? Uh, Number four with literal E. Um, okay. Okay. I finished work. See, sí, right? I finished it last Friday. Okay. I finished it last Friday. Okay. I finished reading reading the book last last Friday. Yo lo terminé el pasado viernes o el viernes. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, no, number five. Where did you learn uh, that? What's that? Would you learn? Uh, how do you say? It? Learn in Spanish, teacher. Eh, ¿Dónde aprendiste eso? Mm -hmm. ¿Dónde aprendiste eso? Okay. I studied English at the university. Uh -huh. Already. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I studied no, English. No, where did you study English? Okay. I learned it in the street. Check it. Que el verbo de la pregunta es el mismo verbo de la respuesta. Mira. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Esa es una clave. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Okay. To learn. Where, mama, where did you learn that? Uh, yes, number number C. Letter letter C. Oh, I, I learned, learned it in the street. I learned in the street. Literal C. Yeah. Lo aprendí en la calle. Would you did? Como who did you? Who did you did meet? Yes. Who, who I met George and Bessie. No, yes. Letter. Okay. Wait. Um, did you meet six um, page um, seven, verdad? Seven. Hmm. <clears throat> what is the answer? The number five, number six. Uh, uh, six. Seven. No, la number six is who did you meet? Uh -huh. What did you meet? What did you meet? Um, I met George and Betsy. Uh, yeah, no, uh, little age. Yes. I meet. Yes. Okay, number number seven. What time did you get up to? Ahora yo, uh, Pedro, where did you learn that? Number five. I learned 
in the street. Okay, uh, Edward, who Hi. do you meet? Letter, uh, letter H. Number, number. Uh, what? ¿Qué pregunta? ¿Cuál? ¿Qué número de pregunta era, compañero? Number six. Who do you need? I, I meet yours and Betsy. Okay. Uh, Jessica. What time? What time did you get up today? I got up at five a.m. Okay, Tamara, who who helped with? Okay, for me, who helped you with homework? Uh, my mom helped helped me. Y yo voy ahora Pedro, ¿verdad? Yes. Pedro, what time did you finish work? Se nos fue Pedro otra vez. Lo perdimos. I finished work at 6 p.m. Ok. Eh... How did uh, you do that? How did you do that? Um, I said, yeah, how do I do it? So, yeah. Do this job. Yeah. Yeah. Teacher, how are you? Teacher, how are you? Good evening. 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 Good she started the project last week. Last week. Only last week. I mean, George. Mm. Por todo caso, 14. Ok, teacher, ahí hemos eh, finish. Yes, finish. Este, no questions, no problems. No, no problem, teacher. O por lo menos eso creemos. No, estoy en clase, no hemos dicho. Mira, te voy a enseñar algo. Mira, te voy a enseñar esperemos de que esperemos de que el nuevo gobierno ahora tal vez hace un nuevo algo más parecido o mejor hello teacher. Hi, teacher. Hello. hello teacher hello teacher hello teacher did you finish Most finished yes. yes yes teacher easy um, yes like yes. Say. <laughs> yes, Ow. Por siento que trueno con el nuevo ya, pues estamos a jueves, teacher. Ya, todo, ahorita ya todo es bajada. A teacher, aprovecho que, que, sé que mañana tengo un evento y solo me voy a estar conectado, o sea, de oyente, porque si sí, no puedo faltar a eso. 
Oiga, sí. No, la, la cena navideña nos toca el 21, ahí en la hacienda, hacienda que se llama eso, ahí por Huizúcar, hacienda, y me acaba de decir un compañero aquí que estábamos, que, que él fue ahora. Hacienda. Sí, no, pero el primer año que se va a hacer una, la, celebrar así la fiesta. Ajá, así que... Pero, pero eso hasta el 21, o sea, ya. Voy a ir a mi Creo cena que... de carrerita, porque es el 15, justo el 15. El 15, usted. Ah, ah qué bien. Así es que voy a ir de 6 a 7 y media y voy a venir a cenar. <risa> ok. Pues sí, ni modo. Vaya, a ver, a ver, a ver, a ver. Let's see, I'm sharing and we are going to check. Um, what did you do yesterday? What did you do yesterday? In um, I had to work yesterday. I had to work yesterday. I? I had to work yesterday. I had to work yesterday. Let it be. I had to work yesterday. Ya no me quito. Okay, I had to work yesterday. Very good. Hey, where did you go last night? The teacher. I went, I went to the I went to the shopping mall last night. Last night. Mm -hmm. Why did you go to the store? Um, I went to buy medicine. I went to buy medicine. I went to buy medicine. When did you finish? Uy, aquí hay un arroso. Estos errores de dedo lo. Vaya, when did you finish? When did you finish? Yeah. Reading the book. When did you finish reading the book? It's I finished last it last Friday. I finished. Ah. I finished. I finished it last Friday. Last Friday. Mm -hmm. yeah. And number five, where did you learn that? I met George and Mary. I learned in the street. Uh -huh. Who did you meet? I don't know. Yes, and you met George and Betsy. I met George and Betsy. What time did you get up today? I got mm -hmm. up at 5 a.m. Mm -hmm. Who helped you with the homework? Um, my mom helped me. My mom helped me. Helped me. What mm. time did you finish work? I finished work at I six p.m. finished eight. work at 6 p.m. Okay. Yes. When did you come back? I come back last Monday. Last Monday. Mm -hmm. I came back last Monday. What did you have for breakfast? I had eggs and bacon for breakfast. Okay. How did you do that? I trained very hard. Mm -hmm. very good. Where did you study English? I study English at the university. I studied English at the university. Very good. Mm -hmm. When did she start the project? And she started. He started oh. the project, he started started project. The project oh. last week. Last week. The project last week. Nice. Nice. Any question here? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. No questions.
Lembra? Esse. But now we have a reading. You can go to your manual. Yeah, let's go. It's page 35 in your manual. Page 35. Mm -hmm. Go to page 35. Read the the email, this email that you have in here, and then you answer the questions. Háganle la corrección a la question number three. When did the passenger send that email? No what, sino que when. Ya le hicimos la corrección. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let me see. I need a volunteer to read to Peter T or at Gmail. <laughs> Meeting is a gmail dot com. Subject complaint about a trip from Kaiser dot R at gmail.com. A ver, who wants to read the email? Hi, teacher. Okay, Carla, go ahead. Okay. Last week, I have the chance to travel with your company to another country back to the be honest with you. It was a bad experience because the bus that you assigned me in didn't have AC. It was a long trip and the bus was very slow. I am considering not traveling with you again because of the inconvenience I have. Okay, thank you, Carlita. Okay, so we repeat chance. 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 Company. 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 Honest. 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 Experience. 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 Assign. 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 Air conditioning. Air conditioning. Air conditioning. Air conditioning. Long trip. Long trip. Considering. 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 Again. 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 Inconvenience. 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 Any question about meaning? Questions, questions? No, teacher. No question. Bye. Okay, now you answer the questions. Where did the passenger go? Why did the passenger consider it a bad experience? When did the passenger send that email? Mm -hmm. It is very slow because it's very slow. Where did the passenger go? What, teacher? Where did the passenger go? Uh, when? Where did the passenger go? The passenger go to another country. The passenger? ¿Cuál es el pasado de Go? Uh, went. Yes. went. The passenger okay. went to another country. Yes, the passenger went to another country. Very good. Why did the passenger consider it a bad experience? 
Uh, this is the meal. Yeah, that's your answer. Because <laughs> still it's very slow. <laughs> because the bus was very slow, right? Okay. Yo estaba respondiendo la número dos. <laughs> the, the bus teacher, uh, the bus uh, that you assign, assign. I, I I didn't have AC. Oh, that's another reason. And yeah. the second, the second, mm -hmm. the second answer. Exactly. The passenger didn't have air conditioning, and it was very slow too, right? So we can add that. The bus was very slow. And it didn't have air conditioning, right? The bus was very slow and it didn't have air conditioning. Mm -hmm. Question number three. When did the passenger send that email? When? When? When did the passenger send that email? Let's see. When? He sent the email one week after the, the travel. Uh-huh, exactly. He sent it mm -hmm. I was white teacher. Thank you. Pero también bueno. Cualquiera de las dos puede ser bueno. He sent the email. Si le decimos when, he sent it one week before. Suponemos que es eso. He sent it one week before. He sent it one week before. Why did he send the email? Because he was not happy about the experience. Okay? By now it's your work. Now it's your time to work. Uh, you're going to tell a partner a fault you had. Pretend the customer was very angry because of a bad service. So you tell your partner all the questions you asked to find a solution. See? Imagine, imagine a customer called you about a bad experience that he had or that she had, and then you pretend Right, pretend the customer was very young because of the bad experience or the bad service. And you will tell your partner all the questions that you had to ask in order to give a solution to the problem. Is that clear for you? Mm -hmm. So you can narrate to your partner the problem like this one, you see? So you say, you know what? Last week, a customer called me because he had this and this and this situation. Okay? Y si no, ningún cliente le llamó, lo puede presentar como que a usted le pasó también. Okay? And then, you find out the type of questions that you can ask a customer in that situation in order to give a solution to the problem. What was the situation? What is the solution? Any questions? No question. No question. No. No question. 
No, pero hoy andan calladitos. Vaya, pues. Vaya, think carefully. I'm going to give you five minutes. For, no, mucho, ¿verdad? Four minutes for you to think about the problem or a situation that you had. And then you will share about a problem that you have. Until your partner, the problem that you had or that you uh, customer had and the questions that you asked him in order to give him a solution. Okay, a ver, who wants to share a problem that you had with a customer? Mm -hmm. Volunteer, volunteer. Bueno, lo voy a mandar a los grupitos entonces para que se compartan la llamada. Yes, join. Thank you, go. Join, join, share with your partners. You can tell about a, a problem of a customer or a problem of you, right? That you have. Sabrina está por allí. Creo que está de oyente. Ah, Yo ahorita me acabo de preguntar porque me estaba moviendo porque se me apagó la compra. 
Vaya, pues la voy a mandar a otro grupo a las dos. Porque Ok, teacher, thank you. que los demás no se olviden o no sé qué lo que son. A ver, no vienen cuando ya los hagan bien. <ríe> Así pasa a veces. Okay. Welcome, Sabrina and Carla. Hi, teacher. Hello, hello. O sea que estamos, vamos a decir eh, problemas con respecto a ¿Alguna insatisfacción que nosotros tenemos? Sí, que tenga o usted un... o el cliente. O que algún cliente les haya expresado. Ah, hijo. Cualquier relato. <risa> <risa> Cualquiera de las dos está bien. Ok. Debemos para just... Quiero ver cómo lo formulo. Yeah, you just correcto. <laughs> okay, and I tell you, um, on yesterday I called with a client about the the delivery of the chairs, and because the package uh, received damage, and they have very angry because um. Uh, the, ex the expectatives is different the the oh. products uh, and i say uh, sorry sorry for the inconvenience but uh, the package is only damaged or the products no all is damaged and uh, now sorry uh, please can you revise your products please because in sometimes only the package is damaged but the product is very cool uh, well, so the client is very, very angry, and I say, and I, I send the claim that that cheaper, and I say sorry. Okay. No sé si entendieron. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Ready. Um, yes. In the product. Yes. Uh, the client thinks that. Our uh, no, because we are responsible by the damage package, but and we sometimes we don't understand the package is responsibly for the ship for the shipper because the transport is international and the packages uh, must be very strong. Okay, okay. that is also. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I try. Excellent. Okay, your turn, Sabrina or Carla. Carla Maria. Um, pues, yo ahorita sí me he perdido en este momento. It's <laughs> o sea, very... sí tengo la, la idea, pero no, no la tengo en inglés. The problem is very Call the sound yeah. <laughs> uh, Disculpa, estoy delirando. Está bien. Don't worry. Yo, yo creo que en mi caso, yo a veces bromeo en la oficina y digo que voy a hacer un departamento de quejas porque solo eso a veces se pasa recibiendo y uno que otro. <laughs> Felicitación, pero la mayoría se enoja ahí. Algunos no están de acuerdo, pero nuestra responsabilidad tiene límite, ¿verdad? Entonces, si el proveedor no empaque correctamente un producto que va a viajar tan lejos, pues tampoco podemos nosotros, digamos así, tener responsabilidad sobre eso, porque el tránsito es largo, viene en contenedores, viene en barcos y está sujeto a muchas maniobras en puertos o almacenadoras. Entonces, debe de poner un empaque resistente. Eso traté de decirles. Thank you for your attention. Oh, okay, now uh, it's very cool. <laughs> yeah. It's a magnificent experience. Thank you. Um, 
En mi caso, pues, bueno, voy a tratar de decir en inglés, va. Eh, the client's complaints to the bosses eh, first. Eh, sería for, for the sample are even late, for defects in the sample, defects. Eh, discrepancies o oh, porque bueno más que todo por eso eh, después este afterward and the meetings with has después nos reúnen para regañarnos todas ah oh, sorry yo no sé si se me entendió yes of course Ser, solo, sería solo por eso, eh, son, las, son solamente dos puntos que nosotros tenemos en el trabajo por los cuales nos cae el regaño, porque las, pre, las, las muestras lleguen tarde al cliente y que de ribete le lleguen con defectos y nosotros no, no lo hayamos detectado al momento y arreglado. Ribete es muy cool. <risa> <laughs> yeah, and the problem is that the the client is always right, even when it is not. Okay. Next or things. Bueno, en mi caso, bueno, yo ahorita sé inglés, no, porque no he preparado nada, <risa> pero, o sea, en, en mi caso, como trabajo en un área de, de cobros, o sea, todo el tiempo la gente sale no peleando. Quieren. <risa> no quieren pagar, ah. Carlita. Sí, <risa> siempre hay que, mire, que este servicio no me lo dieron bien y, y no me lo dieron de cobrar. Y muchas, es, es, son tipos de, de las quejas y yo siempre les digo, ¿y por qué no puedo hacer una queja? en el momento, sino que hasta ahorita que se les está cobrando, están saliendo todas estas cosas. Ok. Eso. Así que yo, yo paso bien entretenida con la gente, con las quejas. <risa> Ay, no, that's sad. Really, really. What is your number, the cell phone for, for me? Uh, mi expectativa, mis quejas, pero ponerlas ahí también. También en la lista. <risa> <risa> Así que yo, yo vivo todo el tiempo con, con gente de que llega molesta porque se les está cobrando el servicio y, y no quieren pagar y, o quieren descuento. Ok, eso es una es, es very big responsibility. Ok, ready. Ready. Thank you, Raquel. Thank you, um, Sabrina, Kelly, Carla, teacher. Okay. Um, teacher, después de contar el problema, dijo que íbamos a hacer algo más. Uh -huh. hacer... You can ask questions. Okay. What questions can you ask the customer in order to get more information? Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> to give a solution. You want to give a solution, right? Mm -hmm. Solución, de, que demos una solución al problema que hemos dicho. Ajá, uh -huh, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Como sería en mi caso, tenemos es, este, unas especificaciones y nuestro problema es I don't read que no leemos, así sería, ¿verdad, señor? Ajá, we don't read. We don't read. Es nuestro mayor defecto ahí en muestras. We don't read specs. Toda la información que el cliente quiere está en una especificación y nosotros por querer sacar las muestras lo más pronto posible omitimos algunos comentarios. Oh. O este eh, we don't 
eh, ¿cómo se dice proporcionar? We don't give. ¿Cómo? Give or provide. Ah, este, we don't provide emails of the client. Muchas veces los clientes mandan correos y nosotras no leemos correos, por lo tanto hay una persona que sí los lee, pero a ella se le olvida entregárnoslo. Oh. Entonces, mucha, eh, tenemos que estar pendiente de correos para pon poder evitar también algunos problemas. Ajá, uh -huh. definitivamente. In this case, the problem is the communication, Kelly. Así es. Okay. In my case, the, the most uh, frequent problem is the quality, the cocoa beans, the the the, lead, the checklist, the, the solution is a uh, is a uh, easy. Is number one is visit to the farms. Number one is uh, number two is check the quality. Um, the uh, do testing the the testing the quality the cocoa beans uh, is easy. easy. Entonces tienen que estar bien pendientes de la calidad. Es sí es es como fácil porque. Ay, pero ya más o menos, va, Edgar. Sí, sí, ay, ask, ask, que... pero en pasado, ay, ask. Ask, ajá. Ask, ajá, what, yo le what pregunté. ¿Qué problema es? Sí, y, no, y, oh. ay, ask, if, eh, call. Hello, teacher. Uh, attention, ay, attention. Ay, ay. Can I, I ask it for, for. A... I ask, uh, if, call it, uh, the, a the, mechanic. The, no, mi compañero, ¿cómo se llama? Atención al personal. Como atención al cliente, ¿verdad? Customer service. Ajá. Customer service. If she, if she call it, call it to customer service. Customer service. Service. O al mecánico podemos poner o, o, o a mechanic. Mechanical. Mechanic. Mecánico podría ser mecánico. Yeah. The mechanic. mechanical or, or... The mechanic, mechanical. You call the, the mechanic. mechanic. Si. Or, or call to mechanic. You call to the, the mechanic. You call the mechanic. The single, mechanic. Call, single or, tune. Call, yeah. Ah, okay. Or, or call the mechanic. Call right. the mechanic. Si. Vaya, teacher, con, con Edgar hemos empezado así. Vaya, Edgar. Uh -huh. Lo que escribimos. Hello, Miguel. Hi, Edgar. Uh, I, today I had a problem with a client. Uh, he has a... Chijada. No, chijada. A, a problem? No, he had a problem with a car yeah. engine. The car's engine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I ask, I I ask if call it to customer service or mechanic. And what she is in what she say. Okay, ahí vamos. Si yo le pregunto yeah. qué qué le dijo ella, verdad? What did she uh -huh. say? What, what she, she say? Oh, what the she? ¿Qué hicieron o qué hizo? Pero what vamos did, bien así, teacher. Sí. What, what, did, what, did, what, did, what did she do? What did she do? What did she say she or do. what did what she do? She, what okay. did she do, Edgar? Sí, sí. What did she do? He do. What did she do? She was she very did. angry, okay. me puede decir. Ajá, uh -huh. he was very angry. 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 She was angry. very, very hungry. Angry, ¿y qué hizo? Eh, and, and what did you do? What did you do? ¿Qué hiciste tú? 
No, que el no, el, no. el customer. El, el, el customer. Ah, el el enojado. <ríe> no, o sea, what did she do, Edgar? Eh, o sea, él, me, él me dice she was very angry. Ajá, she was very angry. ¿Y qué hizo? Ajá, ¿qué hizo él? ¿Qué hizo él ya? El, el Reclaim, reclam, reclamar, teacher. Reclamar. Complain. 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 Yeah, complain. She complained that your, your warranty. Ok. He complained about the warranty. Complain. Uh -huh. He complained about the warranty. How do you write complain, teacher? Complain. Así como se oye, como, como con A y, y latín, Y. Digo, y, y, y normal. La I latín. Complain. Complain. Okay. Complain. Complain. Okay, ¿qué va a hacer? Complain. And she, and she complained the warranty. She complained about the warranty. She about the warranty. She complained about the warranty. And no. <laughs> the master girl. Quiero ver qué más le podemos poner. Le ofrecí, ¿cómo se dice? I offer, Le ofrecí. I offer. Oh. I offer. Sí. Doble R. Sí, I offer. I offer. Eh. What did you offer? Yeah. I, I offer. Es que, es que trato de armar, teacher, la conversación o, 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 o las frases, pero no sé si me funcionarían, como lo ver, pongo. A ver. I, I, offer, Ajá. I, offer, I offer the solution. I offer the solution. Ajá. Uh, with your car. For her car. No, the, for her car. The solution for uh, her car. Repay, repay. Repararlo lo más pronto posible, teacher. To repair it as soon as to repair. possible. To repair it as soon as. As soon as possible. Possible, as, possible. Sí. As soon as, soon as, as. possible. Sí. To repair it as soon as possible. That's the solution that you, what's the solution that you gave to her? That you will repair it said, as soon as uh -huh. possible. Okay. okay. Pero tenemos pocas preguntas, compañero para este pequeño diálogo. ¿Qué más That, podríamos That's okay, agregar? que ya me lo llevo. Ah. Okay. <risa> Hello. 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 In English, please. Yeah, yeah, now you have to refer to your to your complaint. I have a complaint <laughs> about yesterday's class. <laughs> But yeah. Tom Salvado por la campana, teacher. <laughs> But tomorrow, tomorrow you will share your experience, right? And you will tell me your complaint that you got, that you got. Okay, tell me present, as I call you. Bella Lisbeth. Carlos. Present, teacher. 
darling. Y bella, 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 bella. Tengo tía, tengo ver a bella. ¿Verdad? Está haciendo una película, dice. Ah, sí. <risa> <risa> ok. Eh, Carlos Roberto. Present teacher. Darling. Denis. Darling está de oyente, pero está conectada. Ah, y Denis. Está bien mejor. Edgar Eduardo. Gabriela. Pre present teacher. Present teacher. Gabriel, nice. Germán Agustín. Present teacher. Jessica. Present teacher. Habla. Present. Kelly. Kelly Kelly. Ah, present teacher. Marcelo. <laughs> present teacher. Good night. Good night. Mauricio. Miguel. Present teacher. Moisés. Present teacher. Good night. Good bless you. Norma. Pedro. Ronald Josué. Ronald. Teacher, Pedro se desconectó a las 10, a las 10 y 2 porque tenía que, que, que retirarse. Ah, vaya, vaya. vaya. Eh, Sabrina. Present. Tamara. Present, teacher. Waldemar. Present. Walter. Ok. Nice. Nice, nice. Excelente, chicos. See you tomorrow. ¿Verdad? Have a nice day. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Take care. Good night, teacher. Good night. Take care, Herman.